Hey everyone, welcome back to my food channel, Sanjay's Comfort Food. Today I'm going to show you how to do homemade pasta. It's very simple, very easy, not a lot of work, and you're going to achieve a perfect result. So guys, as well as I'm going to show you how to do the carbonara. It's, it's an Italian traditional pasta, and it's a delicious. Let's begin the video. So yes, here I have all the ingredients you can see on your screen, which I'm going to be using for this video. So I'm going to start with pasta dough. So here I have about two cups of flour, three whole eggs, about a pinch of salt, and about two tablespoons of oil. Here I'm using a fork to mix all the ingredients and I'm gonna mix it until it gets into a dough. So it looks a little messy right here. So I'm gonna be using my hand to getting the eggs and the flour together and turning into a dough. And once the dough is ready, I'm about to need it for like 10 minutes so the gluten can activate so what it does is it's gonna give me that 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 elasticiness that that stretch when I roll it so it, it is very important to knead your dough for about 10 minutes 8 to 10 minutes so here my dough is ready as you can see once I press it down how it comes back up by itself now I'm gonna plastic wrap it and leave it for about 30 minutes to an hour. Here I am dividing the dough into four equal pieces for the uh, further process. So here I'm gonna be rolling the dough and I'm gonna roll it until it gets like super thin. And uh, here as you can see the tri it's like triangle shape. But we have to shape give it a shape and turn it into a rectangle or a square shape so as you can see that I have folded the dough to give it a, a perfect shape so right now I'm following the same process again and I'm gonna um, I just did it like two times and as you see yes I'm getting there so it's all about like you know rolling it and stretching the dough out and uh, I have to I have to roll it until I can see my hand through the dough as you see like you know I can you can like you can see my fingers through my palm through so that's uh, how thin you want your dough to be again you you kind of dust your dough that is very important so if you don't dust it 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 might so here I'm folding it, you know it's time to cut the dough. So there are like variety of shapes you can do after uh, actually from here. You can make tortellini, you can do ravioli, you can make fettuccine, you can do pappardelle. So here whatever you want, whatever shape do you want you can do that. If you have pasta machine, that's gonna be even easier for you to uh, get the right consistency. But as you can see, I cut the pasta into like about half inch uh, thickness. So to to store it, um, getting it into a Ziploc bag. So and I'm gonna I have rested the. Pasta 
stove. So right now here I have some boiling water going on, I have some bacon going on, I'm rendering the fat out of the bacon. So once my water gets boiled, I'm gonna add my fresh pasta to it. Right now as you can see the bacon is crispy, it rendered all the fat out. So here my pasta is almost boiling i have added my fresh pasta in it and i'm gonna be cooking it for about two minutes or how you gonna know your pasta is cooked you gotta take well you gotta taste it so here i have my pan off there's no flame on uh, the stove right now so i have added the pasta into the pan and half cup of the pasta water here i have three egg yolks which i mix it uh, added into the pasta i have some parmesan cheese in here that i'm gonna dump it in there as you can see it's kind of uh, getting a creamy texture right there i have added some black pepper that's really that's gonna give the pasta that kick i have added the bacon bites a little bit parsley for the garnish and for flavor as well so as you can see how creamy it looks you can add a little bit of water the pasta water if it's required and i personally don't like the sauce uh, you know, to be too runny sauce so i have kind of coated coated my pasta with the sauce and this fresh pasta actually absorbs the sauce and the sauce sticks to it so you don't I, I don't know you don't really need something running so guys let me know how do you like the recipe if you do like the recipe be sure to like the video subscribe to my channel if you are new to my channel and uh, i share one video one to two video in a week so i'll see you next time until then bye bye take care